I want to show you how I safe off the wires before I got any further. Just put a loop in the wire, put some heat shrink over it. You don't want to go all the way through. Back it up a bit and just hit it with the heat gun. That way uh, you're not going to get a short uh, or a ground fault that'll bleed off the battery or cause other electrical problems. The gauges require a constant power so they can reset to zero when you turn the car off. So I have one wire here and I have two gauges that I'm going to install. I need to splice this and split it. I'll show you how I do that. That is a proper splice. So now we're just going to put some heat shrink over it. This is adhesive heat shrink. And that's it. This one's good to go. So all I did was mount the, uh, the two gauges in here, two and a half inch holes. We're going to connect the fuel level sender to channel one, which is channel one. This box is made by Iron Canyon Motorsports. Um, this will work with the stock fuel level sender. It's got two leads coming off of it. One will go to the AIM MXM, the other one is the input signal from the in-tank fuel level sender. I put a uh, Deutsch DTM two pin connection on it just to make it easier to hook up to the car. Button everything up, turn it on, and then we're going to go through programming it. That's literally all you have to do, these two connections.